Uh, I first became aware of this story in 2020 when I was sent Jeff Nathanson's beautiful script based on the book, Young Woman in the Sea by Glenn Stout. I loved that the story centered on what this amazing woman did in the 20s, but I also loved the whole of it. I loved Trudy's family. I loved her coach. I loved the world that Jeff had created. So being part of that is just wonderful. I mean, this cast feel really next level. I had uh, read with a few people for Meg and I knew that that was a very particular alchemy. Uh, I have two sisters, so I know what that feels like. Um, and when I met Tilda, it just was perfect. Kim Bodnia as our father, Jeanette Hine as our mother, Ethan as our little brother, um, and then Stephen Graham and Glenn Fleshler and Sean Clifford. It's just Christopher Eccleston. It's just wonderful. And everyone brought such a specific energy and such a specific mood. Um, yeah, it was really a thrill to be part of this team. Yes, it's wonderful to be a part of the team bringing this story to modern audiences. Um, playing someone who has largely been forgotten to history, but did such an inconceivable uh, athletic feat as swimming the English Channel that had never been done before by a woman is amazing. And really the love that Meg and Trudy have um, as sisters and then Trudy and her mother have is just so wonderful. And I really wanted that to be the bedrock of our film. I bet you don't know how long I trained for this. Um, I started training in the January of 2022. Um, so I trained for three months for three or four times a week. And then we got to Bulgaria and had two weeks before we started filming. So trained every day then. And then around filming, we were doing supplementary training and it was all in the build up to the big swim, which was at the end of our shoot, which was many, many, many days in the open Black Sea. Uh, it's about the emotion. It's about a character that nobody's ever heard of and should be remembered. She was a phenom when she was 20 years old. And now we're going to show the world what an amazing athlete was and what an emotional story that she brings to the screen. She's beautiful. She's an amazing actress and she's very physical. She's got big, broad shoulders. She endured 10, 12 hours in the water uh, filming the movie. She trained for three months to be an, an Olympian swimming swimmer trained by an Olympian. And based on the screenings that we've seen with Olympic athletes at them, uh, they agreed that she looks phenomenal in the water. So that's good. He's a great storyteller. He's an amazing visualist. He understands emotion and humor, and he loves making movies, he loves entertaining audiences. And that's the kind of directors we work with. Well, it's a story about a, a female, so we had to tell that story. But it's a female, it's a female athlete that got forgotten in time. Tr Trudy Utterly, who set all kinds of records back in the 20s, swam the English Channel, beat the men's record by two hours, uh, had a bunch of national championships and world championships that she's won as an athlete, won a gold medal in the Olympics, won two bronze medals. Everybody forgot about her. We want to bring it to audiences. What an extraordinary emotional story was her journey and how she inspired athletes of today. And she paved the way for a lot of the female athletes that we see now excelling. That's a very good question. <laughs> and I, I was baffled by it. I was baffled that I didn't know this story. And the more I spoke about it, the more I realized that really nobody knew this story. And, and um, it, it, it was such a, a world event at the time uh, when it happened. And it, it probably changed women's sports forever. So, so I'm very, I, I don't have like a, I'm sure there's a complex answer to that, but I don't really have uh, a, a good explanation for it, but it, it made me want to tell the story even more and, and to, to put through the other lay back on the map, so to speak. Well, I, um, I grew up by the ocean. I, I, I'm fascinated by the ocean. I think it's a beautiful place. I think we should take better care of it. I, I, uh, um, so I am drawn to stories that have it in them somehow, whether it's a backdrop or, or whether 
you know, like in this film, it's almost its own character and it's it symbolizes the obstacle uh, that Trudy ha has to overcome. Um, and and I think it's I, I again, I had I felt I had an obligation to do it on the ocean. I didn't want to do it in a tank or on the blue screen or 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 cheat in any way um, when we could when we when we had the opportunity to do it real for real, as we say. Um, and I and I, I hope that the audience can somehow feel that, you know, that we that we are um, in the elements and, and telling this story as truthful as possible. Yes, I, I had such a wonderful collaborators uh, on Young Woman on the Sea, um, the DP, the director of photography, Oscar Faura, uh, production designer, Nora Ekberg, costume designer, um, uh, Gabriella Binder and and I think we all kind of came together and did tons of research and 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 wanting to 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 capture this as much as possible uh in camera as we say you know making it as real as we could obviously and and um showing New York in the most realistic way we could a hundred years ago and showing how it was to to swim, you know, across the English Channel as as good as we as we could portray it, um, and um, uh, again, I'm I'm I'm, and many more people also helped to achieve that goal. Yeah, I would say so that she was, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a cliche to say that she was at the top of my list, but I, I she really was. Um, I think, you know, besides being an amazing actor and being great in the Star Wars films and stuff like that, I think she radiates some kind of an energy uh, that I'm imagining that Trudy had, you know, it's like a strength to her, um, uh, or, you know, it's like a force of nature in, in every stroke. Uh, and, and there was no getting away from that this role was a very physical one. So I needed someone that was willing to take on that challenge head on. And she was. She trained for months and months um, open water swimming and, and, um, uh, and, and blew us away basically by being in the cold 60, 61 degree water every day for weeks and weeks. Um, so uh, I, I, I honestly say I could not have done it without her.